Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. This is our second part of reproduction in plants. Now in this video, we will be discussing about seed dispersal. But as this is in continuation with the previous video, so I will just brief you what we have done in the previous video. We have discussed what a seed is. A seed is the unit of reproduction of a flowering plant that is capable to develop into a single plant. Then we have done about the parts of the seed. The seed has three parts. The first is the seed coat, which is the outer covering of a seed, which protects the seed. Second is cotyledons, which provide the food to the growing plant. And the third is the embryo. The embryo is that part of a seed from which the root comes and the shoot comes. So now we will be discussing about seed dispersal. First of all, what seed dispersal is. Seed dispersal is scattering of seeds. And why seed dispersal is necessary? See, seed dispersal is necessary because if there is no seed dispersal, the competition among the seeds will be too high. Now we all know that plants, they are fixed to one place. They cannot move at their own. In such condition, if the seed from the parent plant falls around that plant only, then the seeds which are there in the soil, they will face a lot of competition. They will fight for nutrition which is in the soil. They will fight for water. They will fight for sunlight. So in such conditions, only a few of the seeds will be able to germinate. But as the time will pass, they will need more of nutrients to expand. They need to be away from the parent plant. They need to be away from all the plants and have enough of space where they can get sunlight, where they can get nutrients from the soil, where they can get proper amount of water, where there is least amount of competition so that they can flourish they can grow properly. Now let's discuss about the agents of seed dispersal. The agents mean the ways or through whom the seeds can be dispersed. They can be scattered away from the parent plant where they have enough of space to breathe and grow. So first of all, the agent which we are going to discuss is seed dispersal by wind. Now, how seeds are dispersed through wind? This is possible in the case of those plants whose seeds are small and lightweight. The examples of them are orchids, dandelions, maple, cotton, cattail. Some seeds, they have hair around them. So, these kind of seeds, they are easily blown away by the air. So now the example of such seeds are dandelions, then cotton, cattail, there are certain seeds which have wing like structure like maple, drumstick. So they also get blown up by the air very easily and this is how their seeds are dispersed far from the parent plant. Now moving to the second agent that is seed dispersal by water. Now we have seen that certain plants, certain plants or trees which grow near the water bodies or in the water, their seeds or fruits when fall in the water, they are carried away by the water current and wherever they find the suitable conditions to germinate, they grow up. And this is very common in plants like coconut, then lotus, water lily. Now coming to the third agent, that is dispersal by explosion. Some fruits like peas or beans, they burst when they are fully ripened. So in such condition, when they burst with full energy, the seeds in those pods, they go far from the parent plant. Now we are going to do the next one that is dispersal by human beings and animals. Now as we all do, 
that we eat the fruit and we throw away the seeds so sometimes those seeds find suitable germinating conditions and they grow this is done by animals also now there is another way through which birds and animals scatter the seed what they do is they eat the plant at one place and then they pass out the undigested seed after some time at another place such seed thus germinates at a place far away from the parent plant there are certain seeds which have hooks spines or thorns now such seeds they get attached to the fur of animal passing by feathers of birds and even to our own clothes eventually they get dispersed to distant places so the examples are pupalia and cockle bug so in this video we have discussed the seed dispersal that is scattering of seeds and we have discussed the agents of seed dispersal they are dispersal by wind dispersal by water dispersal by explosion dispersal by human beings and animals so hope you have understood if you have any query you can ask us through the comment box do like the video and share it with your friends thank you